Calls are coming to one local law enforcement agency. It's an effort to fight crime and keep you safe. Ileana Capian tells us more. The Dothan Police Department has invested in three new drones to help keep the department up to date with technological advancements. One thing that we looked at was the the acquisition of UASs, which stands for Unmanned Aerial Systems. So. We wanted to, we first started looking at this from a traffic standpoint. Currently, DPD has something called a total station. This is a piece of mapping equipment that shoots a laser out to measure elevation and distance at a traffic collision, but can only measure one point at a time. So to make our jobs more efficient, we started looking at better ways that technology can help us do that, and we came across a drone called the Phantom 4 RTK. The Phantom 4 RTK uses a Google Maps overlay and a grid to fly a predetermined path. It takes between 200 to 300 pictures and can come up with the elevation, distance, and altitude as well as create a 3D to 4D scale diagram of the crash area. That also takes away our ability and we don't have to use officers in the middle of traffic, sometimes going 65, 70 miles an hour, risk getting run over by cars. The second drone the department will be getting is the Mavic 2 Urban Scout. While not as sophisticated as the Phantom 4, it comes fully stocked with tools for the department to use. That Mavic comes with, I think, four different attachments. It comes with a spotlight, it comes with a beacon, it comes with a speaker, and it also comes with a, an infrared attachment that can read body signature or body heat signatures. This drone will help the police to be able to track down fugitives that have run away by flying above and being able to see the suspect. It can also help in search and rescue missions and missing person cases. So there's a lot of good functionalities with the drones that we purchased. We purchased one Phantom, R, uh, Phantom 4 RTK that's going to be used by the traffic division. And we're going to buy two Mavic uh, Urban Scout drones one for day shift, one for night shift, so we're going to have 24-hour coverage with the Mavic. Lieutenant Owen says the drones will not be used to spy on people, but to help improve safety, patrol, and crime scene mapping with overhead photography. Covering local news first, in Dothan, Ileana Capayan, WDHN. The police department's new drones will be in operation later this summer. The department paid a little over $18,000 for those three new drones.